My name is Ed, and this is my aha moment. I'm the executive director of Habitat for Humanity here in Salt Lake Valley, and I had the opportunity to meet uh, Savano uh, just recently. And it's an amazing story about um, someone that comes in, doesn't uh, really expect to be noticed, um, but has such an amazing story that I learned about. He grew up in Laos at the time that uh, it was in a lot of strife. And in the paper, uh, the Communist Party had put, we will hunt down American sympathizers and kill them to their root. Um, subsequently, Savano's parents were murdered. Him and his sister walked out of the country into India, and his sister was uh, given the opportunity to come to New York and start working. And she sent for him a few years later. He decided to honor his parents. Uh, he'd also go into the military. Savano joined the military and he's moved up far enough now where he runs four battalions. Still coming in every Saturday and helping us and peppered out throughout the week he comes in and volunteers his time. And I asked Savano, I said, why do you do this? And he answered, because I want to give back. Why do you feel like you need to give back? And Savano answered, because I'm lucky. The real aha for me is here's a guy that has gone through all this and still the bottom line is he feels he's lucky. So many of us run around every day and the little things like our latte being late ends up being a big problem. And I don't know that we balance that with what our lives really are and what they are compared to maybe other people uh, like Savano who's going through this life feeling he's lucky when he's really had so much tragedy in his life that it kind of makes uh, the things that we find negative pretty trivial when you think about it.